Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and for today we will try to save our very own succulent seeds and I will be showing to you how we can possibly harvest yung seeds coming from our succulents and as you would see habang tumatagal yung ating mga succulents would be producing flowers such as this one. Ito nakikita ninyo is a flower of our ice green succulent and it has these flower buds and some of it is actually about to bloom. And also once our succulents started to produce these flowers, we can actually collect some seeds from them. So itong mga flowers na to are not just simply flowers but inside of these flowers we could possibly have yung ating mga seed pods. And that is where we can collect yung ating mga seeds. However, there are some important things that you have to remember if you will be trying to save yung ating mga seeds. So first of all, yung mga seeds natin need to be fertilized. And I'm not talking about yung mga plant food or fertilizers. I'm talking about yung ating pollination. It doesn't mean na once nagproduce na yung ating mga succulents ng flowers, they will automatically give us or provide us yung kanilang seeds or they will produce seeds. Hindi ganon yung ating case kasi as I've mentioned earlier, they have to be pollinated for them to produce their own seeds. Yung pollination natin can happen in two ways. Una nga is through the help of our pollinators, yung mga insects natin. We have the bumblebees and butterflies. And luckily, since itong ating mga succulents are located doon sa ating rooftop, which is an open one, sa outdoor siya, yung ating mga insects and other pollinators have access to these plants. And I really don't need to worry about pollination kasi from time to time, I can see a lot of insects almost every day, bumblebees. We have the butterflies and those can actually help in pollinating uh, itong ating mga flowers. But if, for example, your setup is nakalagay sila sa greenhouse or indoor setup, then definitely you have to do it manually. So how would that work? So all you need to do is a paintbrush. Unfortunately, sa ngayon, I don't have any small paintbrush. Just simply brush it towards the center. So yung pollen natin would now eventually pollinate yung eggs or ovum dito sa ating flower. Yung ating mga pollinators kasi are attracted sa nectar but accidentally what they are actually doing is transferring uh, yung pollen. And therefore pollination happens and if all goes well, the seeds will form and ripen. It would actually take a week or more depending on how fleshy yung stalks and the flowers are. Kasi for example this one, hindi pa natin to pwedeng i-harvest kasi Ano pa siya, oh, bagong-bago pa lang siya. It's still very fresh, hindi pa ito ready. I think this one hasn't been pollinated yet so far kasi hindi pa nga nag-open yung kanyang pinaka-flower doon. Yung pinaka-gitna dyan, dyan yung ating mga seed pods and dyan magagaling yung ating mga seeds once they are pollinated. So here, for example, I have this one na medyo dry na siya. And so I will be harvesting this one. All you need to do is simply cut it. For example, this one nag dry na siya, and therefore I will be harvesting or I will be cutting this one. And yes, hanap pa tayo ng ibang parts nitong ating succulent na nag dry na. Pag mga ganito, hindi pa natin yan i-harvest. Like for example, here. Ayan, so we have two already. Here. So ito na yung na-collect natin na dried na flowers. Then sa loob niyan, meron tayong seed pods. It would look like this. And sa loob nitong ating seed pod, we have this. Yung nakikita nyo yung sobrang liliit na yan, those are actually the seeds ng ating succulent. Sobrang liliit nila and you really need to be patient if you're gonna be using the seeds as a means of propagating your succulents. Ang una natin gagawin is to remove nga itong ating mga nag-dried na petals. Ayan. So, we will just remove it. Ayan. So, I think right now you can already see the seed pods sa loob. So, yung nakikita nyo yung yan, those are the seed pods already. Ayan. Ganyan ang itsura ng ating seed pods. Alright, so let's try to check yung iba if they have seed pods. Dapat yung ating mga seed pods should be light tan in color but this one is still greenish and dapat is ano siya, if we will press them between our fingers, 
uh, dapat matigas siya. But this one is still very soft. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa talaga siya completely dry. And we can simply put this in a paper bag or any bag and let it dry for a couple of weeks more. So this one is already ready. This one is not yet ready. So we will still keep and store this. And so now we have the seed pods. All we need to do is... So, even to. Ayun na. Ayun na. Nakita nyo ba yun agad? You know, yung lumabas doon, those are actually the seeds already. Ah, ang dilit talaga. Ayan. So, yung nakikita ninyong yan, those one, yan na yung kanyang seeds. Ayan. Look, diba? Ang dami. So, I think in one single flower na ito, it will give you hundreds to thousands of seeds. And that's it. Let's try to zoom in. Ayan. So, I just tried to zoom in already. Ayan, yun nakikita nyo yung seed. So, this one came from a different na succulent. I did it earlier. And this one is yung kakakuha lang natin na succulent. Look at that one. So, ito, galing lang ito sa isang single na flower. And ganyan kadami yung kanyang seeds. Ayan. So, you have a choice if you're gonna be storing this one for future use or if you are planning to sell it or give it to someone then you can do that one or simply you can also start to plant itong ating mga succulent seeds na ito but again i have mentioned earlier na you really need some patience talaga extra patience if we're gonna be propagating your succulents through seeds and that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel you may also visit our facebook page at desert succulent ph